Hi everyone, my name is Arnold Custodio and welcome to another InMotion Hosting video tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to add an HTML signature into your Horde webmail client. So the first thing you'll need to do in order to add your HTML signature is to log in to the Horde webmail client. When you log into the webmail, you'll have the option to select one of the three webmail clients. And here you can see that I can see all three of them. And the one that we're working on right now is Horde. So I'm going to click on Horde. So once you're in Horde, you want to go to the wheel here, which is for the preferences. And you're going to go down to where it says Mail. So click on Mail. In Mail, you're going to find under General Personal Information. And that's where you need to go. So click on Personal Information. So here on the Personal Information screen, if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see where you can add your HTML signature. Note that when you're working with email, if you want to see your HTML signature, you need to be composing with the HTML editor. Using an HTML signature basically gives your email a better look. It gives you a branding. You can see a logo. And it, it just looks better than a normal text signature. Note that in order to see your HTML signature, you do need to be composing your email in the HTML editor. And this also goes for the receiving end. If you were to send your email out to someone and they are viewing the email with the HTML option, then they'll be able to see your HTML signature. If they're looking at it as a text message, then they will not see your email signature and just see the text. So how do you add an image to your signature? So if I were to type in uh, a signature here briefly, like say, uh, sincerely yours. In the toolbar, you'll see that there is an option for adding an image. So here, if you click on this icon, and then you have the option to upload the image or add the link for the image, it's best to make sure that the image is available on the internet Otherwise, um, it will be difficult for anyone to see your signature graphic. So make sure that you have the image available or easily available on the internet. Also note that your image should be something rather small. It shouldn't be something very large as you don't want your uh, recipient for your email waiting to load a large graphic in order to see the message. You want to make sure that the image is very small and optimized for use within an email. So we're going to go ahead and click on Upload. And then we're going to upload a file. So click on Choose File. And I'm going to click on my logo sample. And then I'm going to click on Upload. Now, you can preview it. And uh, you, if you look at uh, the uh, scroll bars here and move it around to you see your logo. And then once you have it the way you want it, make sure you click on OK. and then it will be added to your, your email signature. So you can see I have the signature here, and at the bottom the logo has been added. So once you have your signature set the way you want it, make sure you click on Save at the very bottom. Note that when you're working with an image for your signature, that the maximum total size of the image can only be 30 kilobytes. If it exceeds this, then you'll get a warning when you try to save your logo saying you've exceeded the image size that is allowable for the horse signature. So you finish adding your signature into Horde. So you want to see how it looks now. But you do need to set one more setting in order to see that signature that you've created. Click on the wheel that represents preferences again, and then go to Mail. In Mail, you want to look at the composition when you compose an email. And there is an option here that says Show the signature on the Compose screen. That should be checked. If you don't have this option checked, then you won't be able to see your signature within Horde when you're composing a message. You also want to make sure that you're using HTML. So here I've got by default in your plain text. I'm going to go and switch that to rich text, H, um, which is also HTML in this case. And then I'm going to click on Save for all the options that I want to save. Now when you go to compose your message, you'll be able to see your signature at the bottom of the screen. Notice that it, it's kind of hidden. It does say signature, and then there's a little arrow there. If you click on the arrow, you'll see your signature. 
and if it's HTML, if you scroll down a little further, you'll see the image that was added. And that's how you add HTML signatures into Horde. Thanks again for watching this InMotion hosting video tutorial. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel. Also, we'd love to hear some comments from you so that we can know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.